Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are fantastic. In this video, we are going to discuss about Dynatrace One Agent configuration related. After installing the Dynatrace One Agent on any of the hosts, if you want to make any changes in that host by using the command line, how to do that? We may get this kind of requirement many times. So that this video is definitely helpful for you guys. Kindly watch till the end and if you are visiting our channel for the first time, kindly subscribe to it. Okay. So let's start without wasting any time. So right now I have connected to a Dynatrace environment. If I go to the host, I could see only one host in my environment that is my laptop. So I just went into the Dynatrace search box and then clicked on host classic. So this is the place where you are going to get the complete host information. Whether it could be a cloud related or it could be on premises server, each and every host related information you will get inside the host classic. Okay, so I have installed the Dynatrace one agent on this machine. To check that part, there are two places. One is you can go into the control panel and uninstall program where you are able to see the installed application on your machine. And another one is to find out whether Dynatrace one agent is installed or not. You should open the service.msc, then you should check for this Dynatrace one agent service. If the service is there, then we can clearly tell Dynatrace one agent is installed on this machine. Okay, good. Then, after installing the Dynatrace agent, as I said, you may get the requirement to add the host group or to modify the name or to check the content, what exactly present or what is the version of it, all those things, right? How you can do from the command line? Let's start about that. So, first point, as you can see, one agent configuration post installation. Okay, you have already installed the one agent, but you want to make certain changes. To do the changes, at the one agent level, we should use the tool called one agent CTL. Okay, one agent CTL. What is the path of this one? As soon as you install the Dynatrace one agent, this tool also get installed automatically. And path of that tool is C program files, Dynatrace one agent, then agent, and finally tools. Let me go to the file explorer and show you that. So this PC, then I'll go for C drive and then program files and then Dynatrace inside that one agent and then one agent here you will find a folder called tools if you go inside the tools you will find an application called one agent ctl with the help of this one we can make all those changes okay coming back to the notepad here this one agent ctl will work based on two things okay one agent ctl work is based on two things that is two parameters one is get parameter, another one is set parameter. Okay, so the names are clearly indicating what get is going to do and what set is going to do. So I have given the definition also here. What is get? It is going to check the status of the settings. Right now, whatever the settings is there, you are able to see with the help of get. Like that, if you want to modify any settings, for that you have to use the set. Okay. And one more important point is whenever you use set, then you always use the restart of the one agent. Then only it will effective. Okay, if you have modified something with the help of set parameter, but if you have not restarted the agent, then it is not going to be effective. So you have to restart, then only it will be effective. Okay, how we will do the restart, right? That is also important for that. You should use the command called one agent ctl dot exe hyphen hyphen restart hyphen service okay this is the command that we are going to use to restart the one agent okay then if you want to know more about one agent ctl what all are the options were available you can take use of this parameter called hyphen hyphen help let me copy this command and open the command prompt and run it so that you will come to know what i am exactly talking about Go to the search option, then click on command prompt and then click on run as an administrator. Okay, then click on S. Then you need to go into the particular path where one agent CTL is there. As I clearly told you guys, in my environment, I have that particular path here. C program files, Dynatrace, one agent, one agent, and then tools. To go into that particular path, you have to use CD. CD indicates change directory, then click on that path and hit enter. Now we are in the 
tools folder okay so whatever the things we are planning to do so everything should we have to perform inside the tools folder okay so first one i want to know the help okay what a lot of things i can do with the help of one agent ctl just enter dot backward slash one agent ctl dot exe then hyphen hyphen help click on enter so with the help of that you will come to know the complete information what you are going to achieve if you want to know the get proxy information then use the hyphen hyphen get proxy like that if you want to know the get server information i mean to say that one agent reporting to which server which directory server if you want to know that then you can take use of this particular parameter right i will execute all those and i will show you that likewise if you want to know the host id like whenever you install the directory one agent on the host host will get one unique id that we call it as a host id it shows host identifier okay i will show all this one okay just for to understand what you have to do you need to execute this particular command let to get the detail information whatever available with the help of one agent ctl okay so i'll just come down i will clear the screen then i'll just little maximize this one so that it will be easy for you guys to see the content okay coming back to the notepad if you want to know the version of the one agent which version of one agent installed on your host to do that you should use hyphen hyphen version along with this exe okay let me go back to command prompt and execute click on enter you are able to see right this is my current version of dynatrix one agent along with this if you want to see from the graphical for that what you can do you should go into control panel let me search by the name control then click on control panel okay then i will go into uninstall program in the uninstall program it will clearly tells what all are the applications were installed on my laptop okay let me click on d so that it will go to dynatrix one agent okay here you are able to see right what is the right now version i have in my environment 1.317.4.6 okay so the same thing we should have in the command line also you can see right 1.317.46 you are able to see right so this is how you can get the version information from the command line then what is the next important command line that is get server what is the use of this get server this get server will going to tell the clear information about the end point of that one agent let me go back and execute this one hyphen hyphen get hyphen server so this will clearly tell to which it is communicating you can see right https ymc 12174.live.dynatrix.com so to this the data is going from the dynatrix one agent to get more clarity i will go to my dynatrix console you can see the same data here right ymc 12174.apps.dynatrix.com so this is how it is clearly telling to which uh, you know dynatrix the data is going from the one agent okay then if you want to know the tenant id related information for that also the same thing you might get confused how to remember all those things as i said earlier only whenever you want to know the complete information what all are available you need to type just dot backward slash one agent ctl dot exe hyphen hyphen help so that will going to give you the complete information based on your requirement you can execute that so so far we have covered about version get server and help next we will talk about the tenant id to know about the tenant id what we can do get hyphen tenant hyphen token it is going to give the tenant details this is my current tenant information how we have achieved this by using this particular parameter only two are there only get and set set is going to give the information set is going to modify the things then what is the next parameter we can see log monitoring related suppose if you want to see whether log monitoring is enabled or not on that post what is the parameter of the command you should use this is the one you need to pass get app log content access so that it will give the result like true or false if it gives true it means log monitoring is enabled on that host if it is false then log monitoring is 
disabled okay so let me copy that one right click copy and then go back to my command prompt and then right click then click on enter okay so we need to give that dot also at the starting okay so hit enter you are able to see right now it is clearly telling true what is the meaning of true as i said if it give the value as true that means log monitoring is enabled here then host id related what is a host id as i said when you install the dynatrace one agent on any of the host it will create one unique id to that if you want to know the host id information you should use get the host id get the host id i'll just execute this is the host id information this is the host id information hope you are understanding my point right how to deal with dan address one agent from the command line okay right now you got an idea how to get the host id information then we'll go for the next one that is host group this is very important host group will play a very important role in your dan address environment to create the maintenance mode or to modify the certain things or like in a group of servers how we can achieve that by using the host group what is the definition of host group it is nothing but collection of the object or a collect collection of the hosts you can say right for example here install the sql on 10 server you can group all 10 server together and create a host group so that whenever you want to modify on those 10 servers you can modify at the host group level so that it will affect the all entity whichever comes under that okay so to know about the host group details what you can do one agent ctl get to host group till group i will copy we'll go back to command prompt i'll execute this one okay now what i will do instead of set i will give the condition as get and click enter so what it will do it will going to give the complete host group information whatever is available right now it is clearly telling there is no host group available for this particular server what is the server name to know the server name you can type host name on this server we don't have any host group it is clearly telling that then how to set up the host group for that you should use the set the parameter then followed by the name of that host group let me copy this one and execute so that you will come to know clearly right click copy go to command prompt and execute it is not copied let me go back copy one more time yeah now it is copied i'll execute this time one agent service must be stopped okay you can see right it is executed successfully but it is clearly telling configuration changes were not applied one agent service must be stopped first you may use the restart service to automate this process means host group is already created but to become effective you need to restart that service for restarting a service what you can do one agent ctl dot exe then hyphen hyphen restart service and click on enter so it is telling now stopping the one agent service and immediately it will start the one agent service and once it is started successfully if you want to see the host group then you can execute this particular command so that you will come to know what all are the host groups were available earlier it was clearly telling empty because no host group were available let me try that again so that we'll come to know whether our new host group is created or not what is our new host group name new host group name is my host group okay still it is not showing maybe it will take some more time you can see right i have set my host group name as my host group or else you can go to service.msc and you can restart from here as well both are going to give the same result earlier i tried from the command prompt now i am restarting the gui i'll go back to my command prompt let me run it again so still it is not showing okay finally after waiting couple of minutes i am able to see the host group name let me show you that Just executing this particular parameter like get host group let me click on enter we are able to see the new host group whatever we have created yes you can see right my host group the same name i have given right when i was executing that set host group equal to my host group that is what it is reflecting now my host group then 
this is how you can create the host group if you want to create another host group just you need to follow dot backward slash one agent ctl dot exe and set host group name equal to anything like app dev prod whatever you want you can give there like that if you want to rename the host name the parameter or the command we should use set host name equal to my host name or whatever you want let me show you what i am talking right now i have connected to my dynamic address console back you are able to see the host name this is my host name but you are not uh, okay with this host name you want to give some specific name to that from the graphical user interface also you can do that by going into the settings space and then into the general section where you can change the host name like right now it is showing like desktop 8c something like this right here you can modify something you can give the name like uh, rudra gauda that's it it will change the name as rudra gauda this is one approach and another approach is by using the command line by using the command line means this one you need to execute this particular command then it will change the name let me change the name as rudra gauda and click on enter okay so it may not impact immediately it will take some time as we checked in the host group also it will take some time to reflect and again again to reflect whatever things you have done in the set you need to always restart the one agent service then only it will effective so let me restart it so that it will get effect so stopping the one agent service and starting the one agent service when after you have done this also you will not get the renaming of the directories one agent server immediately because it will take some time to reflect over the console now it is started let me go back if it is changed that is good otherwise we may need to wait again some more time but this is how the procedure we need to follow whenever you want to rename the host either you can take use of the host uh, i mean either you can take use of the graphical user interface i mean gui or you can take use of the command line then along with that you can create the tags in the console or else you can create the tags by using the host also for example this particular server belongs to this particular tag my tag or whatever you want you can give here and run it then last one is monitoring mode usually in the host directories agent we will set at the three different level of monitoring either full stack or uh, infrastructure or discovery mode if you want to see right now which one is set up for that you should use the hyphen hyphen get monitoring mode go back to the command prompt and click on execute it will clearly tell the information right now it is full stack mode means it is going to monitor the application process service each and everything suppose in case you want to set into the infrastructure mode how you can do that for that you should use the command called set the monitoring mode equal to infra only right now it is full stack to change into infra only you need to execute this command hope you have got the idea how you can deal with the one is it ctl tool from the command line okay thank you so much for watching till the end i will meet you with another concept in the next video bye for now